Hey everyone, Stephen Jane's back here uh, doing part two of our Android customization techniques. Uh, the first video we got through using LauncherDoc to basically take multiple applications and stick them into one icon. And we use that in combination with the icon packs from Better Android. Now what we're going to do is use SMS Pop-Up. And this is uh, an application that I talked about in my recommended apps for the Android phones. And what this does is basically it will, instead of giving you your text message up here in the notification bar, it will now replace that, if you choose, with a little pop-up message. And this is pretty cool because there's my girlfriend talking to me. Yes, I am still up. I will talk to you in just a second, babe. But um, the way SMS pop-up works is this. You basically... Um, it gives you, like I said, it gives you a little pop-up screen, which is kind of cool because instead of doing the notification bar, you can ha you can have that. So when you take your phone and turn it off of uh, lock mode, it'll just show you the icon of your contact as well as reply, delete, and reply, delete, and cancel. I think is the um, quick buttons that they give you. So you can different ways to notify this. You can uh, have vibrate on and off. There's a vibrate pattern. You can do blinking LEDs, and which is kind of cool because you can change the um, LED color, which is, I think, really cool. So uh, right now we have it set to orange. I'll just keep it as that. You can also um, enable your reminders. Basically, um, the, unread the unread messages, if you, <laughs> excuse me, if you don't read a message, then the reminder is disabled so it's like it doesn't pop up ever again um, otherwise you can turn that on and it'll just you know every five minutes it'll keep saying hey idiot read your messages okay there's also uh, notification sounds you know and all that stuff so just to show you what it looks like let's go ahead and test your notification and that's what it looks like basically you have a little pop-up and it's just very very simple um, that's you know a very bland version of it just because this is coming from the uh, system itself but if you have a friend or a contact sending you a message like I said it'll basically have a little picture of them their name when it was sent the message and then you know some basic actions from there so that's SMS pop-up that's a free application on the Android marketplace just looks just like that one right there and the next one we're gonna get into is called missed call and this one works um, I guess you can say very similar to how SMS pop-up works where SMS pop-up takes your text messages and turns them into pop-up messages uh, missed call takes your basically your customization to a whole new level in terms of ringtones vibration patterns and LED patterns and LED li LED um, colors excuse me so what this is pretty cool because you have going back to the home screen you have many different options first of all there's call service SMS service which you know could be a replacement for SMS pop-up there's Bluetooth calendar application airplane and battery service and you can take any one of these and add you know turn off or on notifications if you have a missed call or whatnot you can change the color of certain lights and you get a nice little uh, preview up here so right now we have blue you can change it there's yellow there's light red there's white which kinda looks more silver if you ask me there's light blue but let's just keep it at blue just so I don't change any of my settings hit OK and so you have all these to go from there's also incoming call that you can change and like I said just going through all these um, there's a lot that you can um, customize within each one of these predetermined settings there's also a status icon which basically just gives you um, an icon up here in the notification bar letting you know that this program is running and what works and what doesn't work auto start um, just basically runs everything um, automatically obviously I don't have anything checked over and because of the recent update it kinda reset my settings so I need to go through that again but uh, again if you take the time to work with missed call that's uh, this one right here it's a very cool application and I like it just like I said the, the whole point of this is to uh, customize your G1 and what better way to do that than to change your LED and uh, vibration patterns so pretty cool alright um, another one but since I have some extra time is going into this backgrounds application and all this really does is give you an application that can easily sort through 
different backgrounds. And as let's go to categories, this should be the uh, main page. And there's all kinds of different categories to choose from. It's very, very simple to work through. Um, all you need to do is pick one, find one that you like, download it. You can save it as a favorite in case you want to come back for it later. So um, let's let's see. Let, what sounds interesting right now? I know a lot of you guys are probably screaming for a couple of different um, recommendations here. But uh, let's see. Technolo I like technology, so let's go with that one. Uh, all right, so there, very simple layout. Ignore the ad there. There's just a couple of different um, backgrounds that you can do. I don't know why the scorpion's there. That's interesting. But uh, you can see easy navigation. Let's go to next. Uh, a couple of different ones. Ooh, I kind of like how that keyboard looks. But um, I'm going to go with this processor. Or this motherboard, actually, I should say. The motherboard looks pretty sweet. So um, here you have an enlarged vi view of what this looks like. You can now add this as a wallpaper, which I'll do in just a second to show you. You can also add it as a contact icon, which is really, really cool, I think, because if you have some friends that you don't really talk to that often or some work associates that you don't want to bother taking a picture of, you can just add this. Um, you can just add backgrounds and then you know, add contact icon. And this is really cool because it does not take up any space on your uh, phone's memory. Uh, so let's let's add icon for also going to cable. It's where my second job is actually. And like I said, this is pretty cool because it doesn't really download the picture onto your phone and waste up space. This just takes it directly from their server and throw it onto your icon, which is I think really really neat. Just saves a lot of space if you want to do this for each one of your uh, contacts. So we have that for a contact icon. Let's now find another one that we can add for our wallpaper. Um, no, nothing seems really interesting there. And there's also all kinds of different categories you can choose from. I just chose this one because, you know, why the heck not? Uh, you can also, there's also popular ones and recent ones. The recent ones are the ones that you've enlarged, you know, within a certain time frame just so in case you forgot to save it or forgot to add it to your contacts you can just quickly look for it so still looking nothing really catching my eye alright let's go with the uh, voluptuous terminator with coconut here okay I like that creepy looking thing so let's set that as a wallpaper kindly tells us to hold on for a second and there we go so now if we go back to our home screen look at that there we go we now have the voluptuous terminator with the uh, weird hairdo as our wallpaper background. Okay, so that's just uh, number two in our little customization video. Uh, if I have enough material for a third one, I'll put that up sooner than later. Otherwise, I hope you guys found some use out of this and uh, customize away.